Hey there, everyone, and welcome uh, to the next episode of Veren Kiato Zoo. And we are back in this uh, wonderful uh, snowy zoo. I cannot do anything about it. It's snowing for quite a while now. Uh, we have got uh, April, uh, actually May already, and uh, there's still some snow going on. Um, you can see that I started to build an entrance, which we potentially will, f you know, finish in this episode. I'm, I'm not really sure. I, I didn't want to do this the whole episode, you know, 50 minutes already I spent into getting the design done, but uh, hence I wanted to talk about design in, in general today. Um, now, first of all, I want to do one thing, and this is regarding, I think it's that exhibit. Yes, awesome. Uh, so we're going to keep um, one of the males, uh, but we're going to sell basically the older ones, since uh, thanks to your feedback, guys, um, you told me that I don't need to get rid of all of them um, because I basically uh, can leave them, uh, leave them in breeding. That should be totally fine because it doesn't count for the exhibit animals, which uh, seems to be quite cool. Now, um, this was actually William Holmes telling me this in the comments. Um, uh, so let me let me just quickly see William uh, Holmes and you William you're getting uh, this wonderful habitat with the two girls for you and now I um, have all the trust of the world that you will uh, fulfill your duty and create some uh, you know <laughs> offspring <laughs> it's that way you know it's that way why is that not set to every month here we go so um, yeah, okay, look at that. It's getting it's getting more sunny. That is pretty good. We're making some good money. It's, it's okay. You know, we're not making crazy money, but it's it's very healthy, I should say, at this point. And we can still focus on, on making our guests even more happy. Um, okay, so still, I guess we still need another mechanic. Uh, we can, we just can call the mechanic. Um, there's someone coming. Uh, what is that, though? Uh, broke merit animal may escape. Okay, so please just don't uh, escape at that point because the mechanic is just repairing it. Awesome. Now, yeah, I, I said some, you know, oh, it's still not repaired too much. Uh, I wonder, I wonder if we can... Um, let's unbox the animal. He's still doing his job, right? Okay, so how, how about the status? He's improving it. Okay, so how about uh, the schedule in total? It's set to every year. Are you kidding? No, not never. Every month, please. Please don't stop. Just don't stop. Okay, so 17% is, is not is not awesome, but it's also, it's okay. What about this one? Okay, is that set to every month? It is. Uh, I should actually build a lot more with natural borders, uh, like I did over here, and, and like walls, because that makes the whole thing a bit more easy. Uh, Barry status is just fine. I remember that that one wasn't. Okay, see, that's what I said. Uh, I'm gonna say uh, call, 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 call the mechanic. All right, so how many how many mechanics do we have, actually? staff we have three mechanics i think it's yeah it's about time first of all to train those two dudes and we're gonna hire just one more um gonna call you and you are going to be um wait first of all the wage goes all the way down awesome and then um now let me just create this solely for you sorry yeah uh gonna create a new work zone and you are the Habitat jumper, so to say. I'm gonna give you this staff room, and I'm gonna give you this, this, and that staff room as well. Uh, yeah, okay, and you are going to be the jumper. Oh, you know what? Uh, oh, no, actually, no, no, that's fine. You are the jumper. No, I, I call this one jumper uh, barriers and entrance. I think that's fine. So I, I do remember, hopefully, that this is meant to be those four. Now, yeah, that's, that's gonna be... That's gonna be fine. I wonder though if we shall add any more animals today in today's episode. Like what I want to do though is, um, seriously, there's one thing we need to do. Uh, we have some animals in the storage. I, I don't really need to buy any new um, any new camel. Just saw the camel. I was about to say we need camels, uh, and I think I'm willing to have camels now because the the camel habitat might be an easy one. And uh, I think this could be a cool idea. We have the uh, small Bactrian camel called Taban. And Taban is um, pretty cool because Taban is a juvenile, actually. So um, this is going to be interesting. It's all fine. Size gene is not too good. So that means we only need one more animal to buy. 
and that should be fine. We also have some Bongo, Okapi, Greater Flamingo, blah, 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 you know, you know the duel. Uh, Flamingo is something I do want to do, and I do want to do this potentially in, in here. So the first, but the thing is, maybe we need to make a Flamingo house, because again, remember, we are in a more um, a cold environment. So what is that though? Which, okay, breed a new animal habitat. Uh, that's just what we do. Can I claim a reward already? I cannot because I, you know, I, I have a baby, ba baby elephant. Where's the baby elephant? One, two big boys. There's the small one. It's so cute. Look at that. I love the Indian elephant baby. It's so super cute. I'm just going to go to take a bath because you're super, you're super dirty. You can just go in and, and clean yourself off. No, no, no. You go in. You go in, not... Uh, Hey, I want to push you in there. Come on. <laughs> See that? Mama's going to take a bath. You should do too. That's a typical child. Like, ah, nah, ah you know. No, no. I'm, I'm, staying, I'm staying super dirty and I'm just pooping right in front of your eyes now. Just like falling down like, like marshmallows. <laughs> Only that they're brown. Brown marshmallows. That's it. It's, it's nothing bad, guys. Oh, my God. Look at this strong dude. God, this is the most strong, small elephant I've ever seen. I'm scared. Like, holy crap. Yeah, I guess see you. Wow. Uh, let me just let me just replace that. Uh, reset the enrichment. Because, God, the small one. Jesus, what are you? You're just so strong. All right. Uh, we've, we're okay. We, we have to see where we put the camels. I'm even thinking of having the camels just in here. Uh, but the problem is that... Like, the whole setup of the zoo is meant to be controlled via the center here. And if we put something here, it is mandatory that we have a new start. Uh, oh, God, yeah, well, just... Just okay, just okay. All the shops, that's fine. Just continue doing that. You know, I'm just not keeping that one. This one, no, you, you don't need to. You just don't need to research anything. I am thinking out loud over here. So the thing is, if I want to put... Like, the camels would be awesome over here, but... My, my main issue is there's no reason for putting any traffic here because we have no just infrastructure and stuff. What we do have, we have some new, wait a second, we have some new energy in that area. And what about the water treatment? Oh, that is not great. That's not great at all. But that, I think it doesn't matter too much. Uh, wow, that's dark. Uh, so we are going to put down uh, the camel habitat just right here. And I'm going to build this uh, pretty similar to what we did in um, in the uh, the last zoo. I, I just want to make sure that we do have a little bit of a... a yeah, most likely we are going to have uh, a natural border, which is um, somewhat uh, done like this. I guess we, we can just follow that route, you know. It makes sense because we have this piece and we can... I think we, if we do make this in a clever way now, we can just have that whole line go into a full circle here and end up. And then we have like this perfect entrance to the camel habitat and making this look natural. You know what we do? We are going to do it exactly this way and then we try to figure if we have some more time to do the entrance. If not, you know, I'm totally fine with making the entrance work off screen for the next episode. Uh, I'm not gonna have like 10-ish. You know what, I, do? I even want to copy a little bit of the funneling style. I guess that makes sense. Uh, let me just do this like, really like so. I want to give it really a, a large, oops, uh, a large circle here. Um, I do want to specifically go over here. So we're going to put this uh, camel habitat right into the middle. And then at this time, as I said, I, I wanted to make sure... Actually, we could have a platform as well, like a viewing platform. Um, let me see. I guess it would make sense to have like this. I want to run this thing to the, you know, to the inside. Are you kidding? Why can you not find a... 14? Cannot find staff room? Is there no energy? Is there no connection? What the hell is wrong? Okay, so... Wait, and it's gone. Okay, that was like a temporary thing. Uh, whatever that was, it was weird. Okay, so this is going to be the funneling I, I want to go for. So that it doesn't, doesn't lock up the whole traffic over here. I really don't like this, you know, if, the, if there's a whole traffic going on and, and everyone's standing, it, it really creates some stuck up and stuff. Why are there so m less people in that zoo, though? Like, I don't really get what... Uh, okay. Did it just come all in? What the hell happened? 
What the hell just happened? Is that because of the day and night circle or whatever? Oh, I am super... Is that like a seriously because of the day and night circle? Because I am quite intrigued what happened there. Okay, this is this is pretty damn good. Uh, Chief Reef looks very busy. So yeah, hunger, busyness, whatever is, is still... Is still an issue indeed, but I'm oh god, no, just oh wait, you know what, just do your freaking thing now because I kept only you two, whatever, do it. I don't know, get, do I get any punishment? I, I don't want to buy any new panda, I'm so sorry, am I a bad person now? Potentially, I am, but oh god, it's just annoying. Good, um, so, <laughs> sorry, uh, I do remember that I believe at least that camels do swim. At least as at a certain rate and I want to uh, have a little bit of a water area here so we're gonna have this little thing to make sure that there is no walking out of the habitat through that area so really want to make sure that this is uh, nicely as as nice as it can be so here that is what it is and I, I'm not sure if I want to have like a fence potentially um, oh, look at that. We got another baby elephant. That is awesome. I'm wondering, though, if, if it would make sense to have, like... Because camels also need it to be a bit warmer. So we might want to make... I, I do know what I want to make. Like, a little bit of with some heat. Um, it's almost like a heat heating tree, if you will. In a very Alva Alto uh, design-ish. Um, because I, I like his, his, his style of designing quite a bit. And I wanted to embed this. But it's definitely not going to be for now. Uh, so... Yeah, elephant head offspring, that is great. I'm gonna make this this water water area just here. So that is where I'm going to do the water area. Awesome. And then we can just integrate that into the habitat. So what we are going to do, we're going to edit the barrier from over here. This tree is then already being integrate integrated into this wonderful habitat. I'm just like, do I go with the steel mesh or do I take you know what? No, I'm I'm just taking the concrete uh, to a next level. Just like so, and let me see, oh yeah, I think it is the, it's the best way of doing it. Okay, let's shorten that whole thing to make sure that we have this perfect connection here. I think that is fine. Dangerous animal has escaped, let's look into that. I bet it's not, but, uh, wait, what the, what the, what the actual F? How the hell can you escape and why the freaking hell are you so small? Oh god, I use just wow. Just wow. I never I never actually remember that there was a small bear. But I mean I take it, but I'm just confused. I'm just a bit confused. Um oh well. Oh well, we're taking that, right? We are taking that. That is totally fine. Now let's see what is going on here with the rewards. Oh great, yeah. Uh, what did I even do to get this? I, I didn't do a new habitat, did I? Oh, it's it's because of the small baby elephant. I remember. Uh, oh, we even have like one-sided glass. Not that we need it right now, but it's good to know that we have. Um, oh, well. I guess... Does it make sense to just straighten it and go with the glass? Like so? Yeah, let me just do it that way. I think that is a lot easier to do now my question is they will be able to run down here i do need to make sure that this goes in here to make sure that we do have the water filled in first and then we can just drag it down but the one thing i want to do is to make sure that the rest of the habitat is going to be like a proper wall uh, i think we can just do the proper wall over here uh, with the gabion um that goes yeah, it goes like that. Uh, it's fine. And now let's continue doing the invisible wall. And I almost feel like that, like, I want to... I... Hmm. So I have the feeling that it would be cool to have, like, a an area where you could touch the camels. Like, almost like if you have the zoo stuff uh, giving you some space where you can actually touch them. I feel like this could be over here. So we make a custom fence. Uh, that could be that could be awesome. Okay, and then the rest of it will be just pretty much uh, the normal fence here, and just where the habitat.
comes to an end. So if we continue that circle, it made sense to have it a bit like so. I guess we are not finishing off the habitat today. Um, this time I won't do like the speed build afterwards or whatever like I did last time. It wasn't really a speed build. It was almost like um, I finished it and included it as a cinematic. I think this time I will do it um, not even in between because I'm a bit short of recording and stuff uh, before the weekend where there is my birthday and so that is why I'm willing to you know, uh, go a bit easy on that. I mean, I prepared the entrance, which we potentially won't tackle in this episode, but uh, it, it is still there for the next time, which I believe is, is still a very good thing to have. And then, yeah, we will be hopefully able to go on with that. But who knows, maybe I have time in, in between and I build that. So yeah, let's let's just see. Let's let, just keep that totally open and totally um, flexible in terms of what I want to do with it and whatnot. Now that is fine, and let me just, oh god, I just cannot believe that I need to, oh whatever. Let's keep it that high and do the rest with like some rock work. I'm even not sure if uh, if the camel would be able to swim out of there, but yeah. So let's do the terrain first. Flatten to foundation is fine, because I, I, as I said, I wanted to make that area where you can get a bit closer up to the camels before that goes back down here again. And I almost don't know if we need to go a bit deeper in. I, you know, just to make sure that they don't escape via that area because they can jump. I remember that the camels can jump quite high though. So again, I am not sure if, let's strengthen that brush a bit and make sure that they seriously cannot jump out of here. That is our main goal. I want them to be able to go down, you know, I want them not like in the, in the last zoo where they could actually not go down here anyways. Um, I really want to make sure that they they go here. That is the plan. So it's actually going to be a bit more of a shallow area for them to just, just go down, you know. Uh, that is even not shallow enough. Uh, let's do it again and push this all back a bit and uh, just to make sure that they can traverse it. So that is going like that. And what we can do already, since we all know that camels do not like sand. Uh, no, they do like sand, but they don't like the grass. Especially, as all the animals, they don't like the short grass. So we're going to make already some coarse sand here. Uh, since they, they do love sand quite a bit. So that is what we are doing. Let's do it that way. You, you know, it's just way over the top, I know. But I am just preparing this a little bit. Gonna make some rock smooth as part of the lower bit here so there we go god it looks just so stupid when you don't really blend that together at the first glance it does look very odd indeed but yeah just mix it up a bit so it, it, it's just not too weird and honestly um while talking about that i just need to make sure that this is all a bit differently laid out oh god i just raise that even more. Thank you so much. And then there we go. Just smooth. Okay, this is not even smoothing. That is more like smoothing because, like, I don't want this uh, shoreline to look that odd and and weird. So here we go. That is more what I want. Make it all a bit more, a bit more subtle, a bit more easy, a bit more less tilted. There we go, and now, oops, that was too quick. I need the water, put the water in again. Okay, so it's a tiny bit better. You know, I think we can leave that glass like it is. Um, I just want to make sure that this goes a bit more down because they, well, I don't care if they jump over that side here. I really don't care. It's just like making it a bit more uh, stable and, and more solid for the guests to watch in here. So I want to have like two viewing areas for two animals making that area a lot more uh, important in terms of education and, and viewing angles and whatnot good okay before we continue um let me just see i guess we can use again the plank um uh, uh, the plank of my choice uh, that is this one i, I really wonder if now you know what we do we are we are working out this whole thing with this Thing over here but again they can jump so that is why I'm going to change this thing a little bit with the pieces um, that goes like so and then hopefully nope I forgot to activate the angle snap because I'm stupid and then I'm going to 
do it that way just to make sure that they don't jump over that one uh it's it's more like this fence and i think if i'm not mistaken uh i'm mistaken i can push that further down awesome go this down like a connection so that would be like a hand reach where they can just grab through and maybe feed uh, the camels if the camels allow them I don't know but yeah so this is going to be it uh, so make it again as I said I, it's gonna it's gonna be very simple and this time I'm gonna gonna do this all in advance before we put the animal in I mean we have the time we have the money I you guys also ask me every single episode to not expand too quickly so here I am not expanding too quickly what's going on low welfare with the panda what is your Social stress. Okay, you just need to go out of eyesight of the people. That is all. I gave you that advice multiple times. Just freaking listen to me. Just listen to me. Okay, is there anything else we want to research? Uh, and I hope there's no one researching a theme too much. No, they are not. Okay, you're gonna do this, guys. Just like so. Mechanic research is also done. You're just not. You're just not giving me the hint now. What is going on with the mechanic research? You're just not telling me. Oh yeah, there we go. I'm seriously. I'm just clicking that. I'm just clicking that only to get. Ah, okay. I was, I'm so sorry. I was in the mechanic research. Anyways, I'm just clicking that to get rid of the notification. I don't. How about you guys? Are you okay? Question of the day. Are you annoyed by these? Like, is your OCD telling you to get rid of these messages icons? Like, you know, I don't care if I have new messages. I just don't want to see that freaking little icon telling me how many new messages I have. Like, seriously, why is that like? Why is that green? Why and and why is it there? And I just like I you know I rem I just okay Juffy is is new I okay I'm I'm fine with that. But the other one warm apple pie, it is not new. So why is there a message? That's what I meant. Like I read a WhatsApp message. I read it. It's like it's having two green check marks. Why the hell is this still telling me it's there? This is this is freaking annoying. So just don't, <laughs> just don't show it to me. I I just don't want to see it. You know, that's that's how it is. I just don't want to see it. That is freaking annoying, you know. And I'm are you annoyed by this as well? I am, certainly. I have to I have to just that's my little secret. It's not really a secret, but I'm I'm really annoyed by that. Okay, if I if I would be Okay, you know, I'm just leaving it the way it is, but um I somehow have the feeling they would be able to escape there anyhow. So, okay, I'm gonna go and have another gate. Okay, here and then um, the path, the staff path, and then yeah, just connect it. Oh, that, that's sweet. That's sweet. It's actually. Um, let me just connect it that way. Awesome. That looks nice. I think it's a good idea. It's a very good idea to have um, this layout. And the cool bit is we can make like a breeding station inside here where there is no need to have some. Are you like. Oh my lord, okay, well, I don't care, you know, do your job, I have, yeah, I don't, I don't put down a new one, why should I, it's, no, it's just not, uh, alright, that's done, okay, before we continue, let me just grab, is it easier to make, like, a, a blueprint out of that, like, this, and then, Alright, okay, so the game just told me, nope, you are not going to make a blueprint because then I'm going to crash and as you can see, we lost our fence over here, but you know what, we're just doing it in a more convenient way since that one is a lot easier and, um, oh, we also have to fix like the whole, okay, we're going to fix the landscaping first, I think, and the building, oh my god, we actually lost a few minutes, um, never mind, I'm, I'm not too mad about that because at the end of the day, uh, it is a lot more important to focus on the fact that we don't lose the zoo, which is uh, way more important than everything else. Uh, so yeah, that is what I'm looking at. And this is also, you know, we just don't lose that much because we know what we do and then the whole thing is going to, to be a lot quicker to be done. So, oh wait, oh, there we go. Just uh, do this. But just remember guys, always remember, don't Joseph, just don't try to make blueprints in franchise. I still don't know what that is. I have no clue. I had that from the very beginning of Planet Zoo. I reported that a million times to the issue tracker. I mean, it's, you know, it's not that important. I'm, I'm you know, I, if I do remember, I can just do it whenever I want and just create uh, a blueprint wherever I want. So, uh, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm just not too... I don't care too much. It's I, I still just need to remember. I think that's all. I need to remember to, to not make that mistake all the time again. But I 
I just don't care. If it's not working in here, I'm I'm just assuming it, about what. Well, it does work. I don't need to assume. I know that it's working in uh, basically all of the all of the sandbox. Otherwise, you know, otherwise my advent calendar would have been a freaking disaster, which it wasn't. So um, yeah, I'm just happy it wasn't. <laughs> it's pretty simple. Uh, water, awesome. Uh, just drag this all the way down. That one as well that one as well take that pillow with you thank you uh i think we we just left it a bit higher right to to make this a bit more solid i'm willing to do this again yeah that is like a mixture of what we had before and the the new one i think that's fine uh i can deal with that now uh for the measure of uh, terrain uh what did we do i think we just did the sand course and let me just not do like a hundred percent to make sure that we blend this in a bit nicer already like so, that is it, yes indeed boy, just blend in some rock down here, just make it a bit bigger, I just, uh, let's decrease the influence of that one, now let's do some soil in here as well, I'm gonna go with some sand fine, which uh, we're going to put like around here, around the lake, oh, well it's a pond, it's not really a lake, around the pond, I'm just gonna make another little here where they can have some enrichment items later and then uh, some some more heavy rock around that line here it's it's not too nice i i hope we blend that in a bit better later on it's yeah so what i want to do else uh but this is pretty easy is uh first of all just make this like only 10 percent and the size can be a bit bigger i just want to get some small hills in here okay maybe 10 percent is too less it's like 20 percent there we go. Some slight inclines. I just don't want to have it completely super flat. So that is a bit interesting to look at. Awesome. Great. So that is done. And now let's... Okay. Before we go on, let's do the facility quickly. That means uh, putting a door in again. I'm going to put this very close. Just right here again. Just doing basically exactly the same, you know. Uh, it Okay. It creates exactly the same again. Uh, well done, okay, so, yeah, oh yeah, right, it's exactly the same, so we did this in like three minutes now, that is totally fine, so we basically lost three minutes, plus the fence, I just don't care too much, now, Rudy, be careful, don't just do too much, just copy that freaking thing over, be happy with it, and don't ask too much from the game, okay, they will definitely be able to run up here, so I'm gonna make this a bit more connected, uh, to the wall, I'm gonna make it that way, and just keep it very simple. Now let's copy that over all the way and only tilt and rotate where we need because that's gonna be, that's the that's the one thing that makes the whole thing a bit more annoying. When you rotate it too much, you have to care for the seamless integration. I mean, I created this piece to be easier as the last one. So I, I just made this like simple, a very simple shape that works together a lot better. Um, so in my recreation of the Griffela Zoo, uh, it was a lot harder to make this all look uh, clean because, you know, if you go for recreation with a lot more angles and stuff, you it is so much harder to create a very clean line between those things because the pieces, you know, Z fighting and stuff is, is always like an issue and ah uh, yeah, ah oh, well, it's... Um, I'm still a bit mad because it was such a pain. I, I really didn't think it would take that long and it took even longer. So not that I was surprised, but uh, yeah, it was just a bit of a mess. And never mind, it, it, you know, it got me also to learn a lot of things. Um, recreating habitats really give you an idea of, of how zoos uh, really lay out their stuff. They have very clever ways of of integrating multiple habitats in just one facility area and uh, you as a uh, visitor you don't really notice that because they do it in such a clever way that they have like a main uh, like uh, facility point in the back which is really nicely uh, embedded into the whole design of the habitat so in this special ape house it almost looked like that all the apes were living in in one big habitat that's just separated by some walls but in fact they had like planned out areas for all the three species um, that were using and sharing uh, basically the, the same architecture, the same structure, the same building, the same backstage access but as a uh, animal and also as a visitor you couldn't really tell 
um, or you, you basically knew that this is separated, but from the whole looks of it, it really was pretty much uh, the same. So if you want to look at that, I uh, highly recommend to watch the video of the final build of the Ape House, because it's not only for those who, who are somewhat uh, in, uh, emotionally... Emotionally? Em Emotion-wise connected to the zoo, uh, but also for those who are just interested in architecture and stuff. I think this building is uh, a beauty in itself uh, because of how basic it is. Like, it is super basic, which I mean in a good way. Uh, it is it is how zoos try to get the modern approach a bit more done in a very, very normal, rough way uh, without too many modern uh, financial, uh, modern modern uh, solutions in a way of, of what we created by research and also in a uh, financially more elevated uh, fashion uh, because they didn't have that much money at the beginning. So I like how that looks. I really like how that looks. Um, it does fit also to the Finnish style, to, to be honest, with this uh, whole concrete approach. It, it really fits to how Alva Alto built and it, in general, um, it fits to a lot of things uh, in the Finnish architecture. I saw that they were working a lot, like like a lot, with uh, concrete. So uh, I'm I'm a big fan of that. It, it, you know, I'm I'm a big fan of this kind of concrete architecture in general. So yeah, I I, I will not I will not complain about that. Okay, that's the only thing that is not really not really nicely connected here. So let me just see because that that's not tidy at all. Uh, can I somehow make this look a bit better? Yeah, well, it's oh god, it's gonna be tough because of the terrain. Maybe you can push it a little bit inside, so it maybe maybe just this little bit, you know, just a just a, okay. It's maybe maybe ask too much. Well, let's do it. Wait, what was that? How on? Uh, oh, okay. I there we go. Oh, okay. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Don't let me down. Just don't let me down. You do let me down, right? Okay, so. What is... I think it's easier to just delete these pieces. Just push the terrain a bit and create the path again. I think that's the easier way of doing it. Uh, this is the easier way of doing it. Seven meters. Eight meters? Was that eight meters? Eight meters? I guess it was eight. Was it seven, eight? I don't care. I was definitely eight. Uh, okay, cool. That's done. Now the last bit we need to do is the uh, connection with the wooden frame. I'm gonna just go for the exact same, the exact same building because it, wa it was easy. So let's see, plankety plank, uh, 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 plank. What? P L A N K plank. And it just give me the architecture. You know, I. No, I'm just gonna go with this one again. Delete. Oh, there we go. That's from the inside. Just push it a bit down. Uh, there we go. And I'm gonna this one. V. I want to connect you that way. One, two, and yeah, again. I did not have the angle snap turned on because I'm stupid. Why did I even push? <sighs> Rudy, come on. Please be a bit more careful in what you do. There we go. Just gonna move this into the middle here. Awesome. That's it. Now let's just copy the whole thing over to be as close as possible to our wonderful area. By the way, can I... Uh, oh yeah, just do the inbreeding again. Now, I mean, now as we go that route... Uh, just show me the nearby ones, okay, because we have to keep inside of that because we don't want to have the messages of the animals breaking out the whole time. So that is pretty clever to have that little overlay. Uh, I, I never knew why that was, but then again, it was um, very obvious when I found out that this is very convenient to have the nearby ones. And because if you put all, it, it the game just starts lagging like hell. But if you only go with the nearby ones, it's totally fine. It's totally fine. So yeah, if you ever work with that like I do over here, also make sure some people, I saw people making making the mistake to really put that exactly onto the line. The game has a certain little area where it really affects the game. So um, that means they don't really need to exactly cross the border to be marked as uh, broken out. They It really is enough if they are only touching the border and sometimes 
It's already November again. I was like, how, how can it be now in summer? But is that already summer over? Holy. That went very quick this time. Now, all right. So we are getting camels while it's snowy. But it's maybe not too clever. Uh, but well. Who am I to judge? You know, if it's if you know if we judge it by my own camel taste, I would say hell. I love winter. Just give me. I love how it just has snow on it already. I just don't need to care for that. I I just love that. Uh, okay, so I I did this all. Now what I didn't do is is making this a bit more shallow so they can go down. Let me just do this a bit more. Uh, so push this. Wait. Yeah, we can we can just push that all a bit down. And then we smooth this on out. I mean, I cannot really tell if it's working or not with the uh, area. So are we, up to, we are like 35 minutes in. You know what we do? Okay, so I guess uh, I'm not focusing on the entrance, but what I do, I'm focusing on the heat. I, I think it's kind of a heat mushroom. I want to call it heat mushroom on this point. Um, it's not a mushroom, but I, I, in Germany we call it that way. I think it's literally translated in wrong again, as always, but never mind. Uh, let me see if I can find anything that is concrete. Okay, that is the concrete column. I would love to have this one, but it is not available and there's nothing, like I cannot... God, I would be, I would love to be able to recolor this piece. That would be so helpful. That would be so super helpful, but it's not, apparently. Now, I... G <laughs> you know, I just don't want to go with the plaster again because... Uh, okay, I need to, I guess I need to, because the game just doesn't allow me to do anything else. I need to go with the plaster again. It, it, it is just too convenient. Ah, uh, whatever. Um, it's just more bluish, I guess, and then bluish gray. Ah, uh, yellowish gray, bluish gray. Oh, let's do it that way. Okay, so that is done. And now we can just go back to plank. There's one specific one I want to use, uh, which is uh, that one. Uh, it's not a, yeah, well, it is a plank, so we can, but no, nah, that is not what I'm looking for. That is what I'm looking for. And we're going to use the color again, which is not that one. Let's just do it a bit more like so, exactly. And now what we're doing, we are just creating some sort of little, uh, whatever, it, it's like a wooden structure we're going to create here. So that way of creating it is already nice. And uh, yeah, it's gonna be, oh wait, it's gonna be interesting to see how this turns out to be working once I'm, because I'm not using grid piece here because I most certainly have none. Uh, now that's why, okay, why is, is this even happening? Okay, so let's just move that in here. I'm just hoping that for some odd reasons I can create that. It's fine if it's not perfectly rotated this time because you will see I am going to alter the design of these sides a little bit. So this is why I am also happy if it's not exactly the middle. There we go, that is fine. So that's kind of what I was going for. Now just find another space. Okay, there's an animal having some issues. We have to check that in a sec. Now that is what I'm going for. Um, well, low welfare, what is low welfare? Animal has severe welfare issues. Stress, okay, just go out of the out of the side of the people. I think, do we have to like make this one way glass so they don't feel too much like watched the whole time? Uh, we can just quickly do that, you know, uh, because we have one sided glass, uh, one way glass now. So we can uh, do this over here. Yeah, well, okay, sure. But how about doing that in the other direction uh, that way? Awesome. Same goes for this down here. And it's going to be uh, one side glass. And it's again from the wall. <laughs> How about doing that on the other side, guys? There we go. This is this is better. So our animals don't feel watched too much again. Great. We can go back to our little heat mushroom. However you want to call it. I think I'm going to call that heat mushroom from now on because I can. Because I can. Uh, okay. Well, I can just... That way of doing it. So here he goes. And I'm going to drop this a bit more down. And now that's what I want. And this is going to be it. I'm just a bit shorter over here and I'm gonna move this up. Okay, this is going to be 
Uh, a beautiful design, a beautiful design. I'm, <laughs> I'm now struggling a little bit to find the middle again. Just to make sure that it, it can just, you know, it's okay if it's okay. Actually, it is exactly how it should be. Now, that's it. It looks almost like a little bit like a tree. Uh, I just want to get a, bit, a few more details in, um, if you don't mind. So, and just see what we find. Okay, no blueprint whatsoever. But I want to have like a certain piece that looks... Yeah, so that is kind of what I was going for for the lower part. So it gives like a solid foundation. That is great. Now I want to have also some kind of metallic stuff that goes in the middle where we can put the heater on. Awesome, that's done. Now, how about that? Is that, yeah, I was about to say, is that sticking out a little bit? It gives a bit more detail. Um, it's not perfectly fine because it's not, it seems to be not exactly the middle. So how about copying it and then... Okay, wow, now it does not create any... Okay, that is so weird. Okay, now that might not be the right piece then. This might not be the right piece. Uh, what about this one? Yeah, that is going to be exactly what I wanted. A bit more of a nice little element. I think I'm gonna go with a bit of darker, yeah. So that is cool. And now let's just rotate it all the way like this. It's rain again, are you kidding? It's like raining the whole episode, what the hell? Raining or snowing? Uh, okay, but that, that's it. So let's copy that one. Facilities, uh, no, ha habitat. I'm mistaking, heaters. Heaters are coolers, heater. Now let's see what the heater does and how much it does. So gonna do it that way. And I remember, I'm just going to rotate that because it faces downwards, so we can put that this way. Now my only question is, I need to put it that high, and then we have to push this little bit in the middle here as well. It's gonna be the heat tree. Awesome, so it's gonna be hidden a bit like so. Now, let me just see uh, temperature. Okay, it's gonna create exactly what we wanted. Now the only thing, obviously, that thing looks super ugly. I'm going to go to the construction, and now pff, I'm lazy again, so let's hit in plank. No blueprints and going to use this one in that sense because that one is what the color should have been like somewhat. So, hello. I am fooled by perspective again. Thanks for nothing. Okay, so that is it. Oh, that looks, that looks stupid. Sorry, but that doesn't look nice at all. Uh, no, where is the... There we go. This is exactly what I wanted, but you know, not the color. It's that color, right? Yeah. Now, offspring of the panda, well, it's all the inbreed panda, right? I mean, I mean, we went that route, uh, we, we cannot complain about that, because that was solely my decision and my mistake, if you will, but I, you know, I take that on me, because I am, I'm not willing to pay again for another one, so yeah, just create some more of those and then we will be fine, we'll be out of that, you know, we'll be out of that discussion. That's fine. Okay, cool. So I made this. I'm a bit more happy with that one. Okay, cool. So that's happening. Now what we need to do is to copy this bit over into the other areas to make sure that we heat up all the areas with this tree. And then, hang on, this is going to be a bit more of a cold area. <laughs> I just don't care too much. Uh, yeah, well, if they, if they decide to go into the cold, well, I don't care. Uh, okay, but what I do care about is that we need another another facility down here. I'm gonna use the staff facility and going to use the keeper hut. I have a keeper hut small for all of these, right? I am willing to have one bigger keeper hut already in here. I wonder though, because like it will maybe get a bit more crowded in the future. Do I put this? They can reach that one there, that one there, uh, or whatever. I'm gonna put a bigger one here. I have the feeling it will pay off later on. And we're gonna, oh, we have this staff room. That is totally fine. No, I'm I'm totally fine with that. Let's go into, wait, yeah, 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 well, that is fine. I'm gonna go into zoo, staff, keeper. I'm gonna put you down, alrighty. And you are going to get uh, first of all, less of that one, and you're going to get a new work zone, which is really that one and that one, and this is going to be camels. There we go. And now, as we have done that, we can just simply drop 
our wonderful friend, the Camel Inn. Let's see, Taban. Come on, Taban, you are going to live in here now, happy ever after. I'm gonna get you a wife, a, f a future wife, I should say, because <laughs> that is going to be uh, funny enough, because... Wait, no, it's the background camel, there we go. Uh, because he needs to he needs to just mature first. But, I mean, is that not is that not great? Like, you know, a camel that is just matured and holy crap. Why so old? And why so, like, what kind of stats are these? Uh, ah, uh, okay, well that's fine. Just move you in here as well. I mean, I, I should have kept you in until, but no, I'm just... I just don't want to wait, it's it's fine though, it's it's all fine. Okay, let's see, what kind of... Uh, we still have, I... Is this, like, can I not contribute because... Um, I do not, like, shot... So what, what? Shots, blah, 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 blah. Oh, I get some shots for that. Okay, so four days left. Uh, but I do I need to release them to the wild to get this? Like, seriously? Like, do I need to? Because they they are not yet, like, what's the what's the reward? Anyways, I didn't read that. So, enemy level control are smaller than African counterparts. Okay. La, 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 la. Uh, let's do our part by releasing uh, 10,000 Indian elephants uh, to the wild from Tuesday to Sunday. Okay, so... Um, wow, it's actually two days ago only. Jesus, that means, oh god, the people had a lot of Indian elephants prepared in their zoos. Now, okay, we need to release them into the wild, but um, to get more babies we have to wait a bit more, I guess, at least. Like, how much can they live in a group? Uh, what is missing with the enrichment, species toy enrichment? They, they are missing out on some toy enrichment. Uh, you know what we do? We're going to give you some more before we go to our camel friend. We are going to give you some more. In the an uh, elephant, there we go. Just gonna give you some more toys. Uh, toy enrichment, awesome. So I'm gonna get you a sprinkler. Uh, I can put that like in here. Great. And then you can have the skittle as well. Um, well, we just get it down here. Another one. Oh, and we have the metal waterfall thing. You know what we could do? We could just move that uh, in before oh god that doesn't look good at all like okay we can't even not put that i just want to hide that it's so it's so big and ugly but i think it's fine to, yeah just by the heater that's super effective <laughs> oh whatever um i think they are just more happy now what about the uh, enrichment now 87 percent that is gyro what is like you don't like the gyro you just like Waterfall frame. Oh, look at that. That's awesome. Mud bath. Okay, it's, you know. Uh, I could give them even more to make them more happy because I could change it now. Um, I, do they. Are they more happy if I give them like. Are they like different? I don't know. Okay, so camel. My camel friend. What about. Wait. This is my small camel friend. You are going to be a big boy. A big boy that is going to be in love with this big girl over here. So, how old is she? Six point. Okay, that's that's easy. That is easy. Longevity was quite good in terms of your data, right? So traversable area, all fine. God, I did my job. I really did my job, guys. Cool. Now, last things last. <laughs> uh, we need to... God, this episode is already pretty long indeed. Did anyone doubt that? I guess not. Species. Back train, camel. Holy moly, here we go. The foot trough goes here. They do not have... Um, they do not have a, a shelter. I'm gonna do this shelter later, but not quite yet. I'm gonna have this, oh, I like this to have it right in front here. Gonna have this ice thing as well. The herb sand. Yeah, quite a bit of what we can give them already. Like uh, some water that goes over here and some water that goes over there. You know what we do? You, you freaking know what we do. What is that though? Small reptile house. Okay, it's okay. I want to have this one, but I cannot use it at this point. Is there any blueprint I can use, by the way? Uh, blueprints only. Is there any one of mine I can use? <laughs> I mean, I'm okay. I always use all pieces, so that's why I definitely cannot. Uh, let's let's use that one. It's actually it's not looking it's not looking too too bad. I mean, it's definitely not looking good. But it's also not looking too bad. So I'm fine, at least for a moment, using that. So let's get back and uh, have some bedding. 
below here. I think that should be well enough for those two. They can do that thing in there, you know. Actually, I like how that is. I, I think it's nice to... No, it's not. It's not. No, no, no. It's just like, let's place it where it belongs and then they're happy. Look at that. People come over to see the camel boy. Now, yeah. Last thing we need to do, obviously, obviously, is to have uh, this one. The education. Education go here. And education go also here. There we go. You have education. And you also have education. Education for everybody. It's just in your face there. Okay, now let's see that we put the first education thing down here. I'm gonna make this Bactrian Camel. Bactrian Camel. I've no, I've no idea if this is this is any good to have that many uh, boards. I really am not sure how this works with the boards either. We have no power. Uh, it's not great. Uh, but the thing is, we can increase the volume of that one. Okay, we can just copy that over to see that it's pretty close. Oh, whatever. Um, where's the other one? God, that's dark. That's uh, the other one. Okay. So, it's in here. And just zoom in. Uh, nobody nope. Oh, it's... There we go. I don't want to have that intersecting. Okay, so what we need is energy over here. Oh, my lord. So, that means... Uh, oh, the bear is about to be mature. That is okay. Uh, now, let's see. Um, facilities and energy. Now... That was pretty, 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 pretty close. Okay, so we need the excess goes over here. We need one here. I, I, I am sorry that we need to do it that way. Uh, we we can change that later if if we have a bit of a better not layout but a bit of a better uh, structure uh, towards the main street, I guess, and that should be fine. But until then, I'm gonna put this down change it to every month and then that should be fine we have all the energy we need it the education is working no one likes to stand here because of obviously the rain uh, you know would you uh, that looks actually stupid let's uh, just create a bit of a oops where does this start here we go i just don't like that it is uh otherwise we have this freaking hole in here which I don't like okay let's keep it that way great we are done guys that's it we are done uh, that's today's episode okay can't just stop raining god this is like potentially the worst episode in terms of what you guys could see honestly that is I'm, I'm really like I I love how the entrance building hopefully will look later uh, I really okay well has matured great um yeah I'm gonna really see to the wild see you uh, yeah, yeah, you, they will not because I, I just released it. Okay, many think tickets are underpriced. Okay, whatever then. Twenty and sixteen. They won't think about that anymore. Okay. Uh, oh my God, I just uh, la, 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 la. back. Okay, so I, I let them research too much of those. Good lord. Okay, so you're gonna go a new world. You're gonna go Indian. You're gonna go African. Which one of those did I just research completely now? None of these, right? Is there one, anyone at first level? No, it's not, right? Oh no, I did no mistake. Oh wait, I did. I, I just researched the whole classic theme for whatever reason. Ah, blah, blah, blah. Okay, good. What is the animal issue? Animals hungry. Yeah, you know why you're hungry? <laughs> uh, I remember because I have too many animals in there. Um, babbidi boo, babbidi boo, babbidi boo. Let's go to Azu. Animals and then oh my lord, they, geez, captive bird trade center. They're all in trade center, but they are not. So down here, Raven, Govan, Felon, William Holmes is is for all fine. It's uh, William Holmes is nine. Okay, so Tristan is eight. That is fine. Uh, Emilia is going to stay in exhibit eight. That is f oh my god! Look at look at that. Eight eight. This can be eight. This is nine. Oh, Lord. Is that all, like, eight? <laughs> uh, center trade center. Oh, God. I, like, okay. So, uh, so, look at that. That is insane. Um, well, yes, I guess. 
Jesus. Okay, I mean, if we have any money issues at some point, just have some hairy little scorpions. Staff have to queue up. Yeah, 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 blah, blah, blah. Mechanic research done, blah, blah, blah. Which mechanic research was that? Did they just speed up this one? No, they didn't, okay. Uh, what do we actually research here? Blueprints. Buh, no. No, I don't. I just don't need that. Uh, power. Yeah, just do the power. That's fine. Asian is, is still missing. Uh, great. So I think, uh, I, in fact, this, this whole blah, blah, uh, this whole franchise is running so much better than the last one, uh, I guess. And I have to say, I don't know about you guys, but I feel like this looks also a lot better. Um, like it's more organic, even though it's more planned out. It's, it's weird. I know, but it's, it's feeling good. It's feeling good. It's feeling properly. It is actually fitting to what I wanted to do. Like, put it that way. Okay, guys, I need to stop here. Way too long again. I hope you enjoyed. I hope to see you again. And now have a good Friday. Have a good weekend. I really enjoyed this video. Uh, question of the day was if you do hate these notification bubbles everywhere, like in here or at your phone or whatever, wherever. Uh, but yeah, see you in the next one. Until then, have a great time and bye-bye. Alrighty guys, thank you for watching this video, I really do appreciate that. As always, uh, make sure to check out also my social media channels, you can find me everywhere under at RudyRandCamel. Also, big thanks to the crew, uh, you can see it on the left hand side right now. And as always, if you want to see more, you click that card on the top right. And if you want to stick around because you like the stuff you've just saw, you just saw, whatever, you know what I mean, just uh, click that sub button which is to the bottom right of the screen right now. But everything else I can say is have a great time and see you next time. Bye guys.